happy and healthy staff are more likely to go the extra mile, just like that fella there. If you want to sort of get them to do something, if you want their sort of dedication to the job, if you want them to be up for doing extra pieces and bits and pieces and being dedicated to their particular role, then happy and healthy people are much more likely to do that than somebody who is struggling, somebody who is unhappy with their job, someone who's unhappy with their circumstances. So that's the second really good reason. Happy and healthy staff are more likely to show you personal and professional loyalty. Now, if you're a manager, if you have responsibility either generically or specifically as part of your role to look after other people, everybody, well, not everybody, I suppose there's, there are people, in the, some people in the world, a minority couldn't care less, but the vast majority of people want to be liked. The vast majority of people want to be seen as being efficient. They, they want to be seen as being personable. Now, that's not a false loyalty. That's not sort of, to, 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 you know, in relation to them getting on in the job and all that sort of thing. I mean, genuine loyalty to you and to the cause. Never presume that stressed or depressed people look like him there. He's an obvious candidate for someone who is very um, openly having problems. Glum. Quiet, probably. Sullen. Negative in his comments, negative in his attitudes. Just generally a bit sort of fed up with life and therefore they want the whole world to know. They're the ones who actually uh, sort of present openly that way and it's not really hard to uh, sort of spot them in a crowd. But they're not necessarily always look that way and they also don't look this way necessarily either. The proverbial chicken with no head, <coughs> running around the place, disorganized, uh, probably discontented, isn't really sort of in a position to take anything positive on board. <coughs> and therefore, going back to the original thing about going the extra mile, uh, being loyal to you, being loyal to the company or organization, very, very unlikely to be involved in that agenda either because they're so concerned and preoccupied with sort of clicking around the place and getting things done very badly and very inefficiently. And this is like a really, really important one to me professionally and personally, because I'll explain why my picture is there in just a second. Some of you who have heard sessions with It's OK to Say before will know that I actually had my own crash going back some time ago when I was a police officer. <laughs> when I had between 24 and 25 years servicing. So I was very well seasoned. I was very experienced in that particular role. And it, it all crashed in on me, but that, that's another story which I tell in other sessions. But suffice to say, that's what this thing here is about. This is an extremely important point because it happened to me. And that is why my, my picture is actually there because I didn't know this crash was coming. I had no idea. All I knew was I was feeling discontent. I had what I call the hunger, this, this anxiety, this, this pain, this just feel, general feeling of being unwell and just feeling awful. I didn't know what was around the corner. So as it says there, many people either don't know uh, they are already involved in or becoming involved in stress-related illness. And when I say becoming involved, when, sorry, I'll say that again becoming involved in what I'm referring to is the fact that they're going through the beginning of the process and the whole purpose of everything that we do is if we possibly can by being preventive and being preemptive is to stop people going down that road if the me of now had the chance to talk to the me of then I don't know whether it would have not happened but I do know it would have been substantially less serious it would have had a substantially less um, negative impact on my life. I'm here to tell you to try and help you from going down the road that I went down, the road that I call the road to chaos.